You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Steve Harvey, Jim Carrey, Will Smith, you up the bat. Bitch, I'm drowning up in it. Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas full gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in the It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Focus on you in 2022. Focus on you in 2022, man. We back with another reaction. We doing something different, man. We already know what's going on with Will Smith and Chris Rock and all this type of stuff. So Steve Harvey and Jim Carrey, you know, is talking about the whole situation. So I found this video say Steve Harvey and Jim Carrey destroy Will Smith for slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars. So I haven't gave my opinion on it yet, but throughout the video, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give y'all my two cents. And y'all let me know in the comments too, what do y'all think Will Smith was justified in slapping the shit out of Chris Rock? Or he wasn't justified. So yeah, we'll, I'll be reading those comments as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad was popping. Let's get it. Back though. Yeah, he said in his acceptance speech that Denzel told him that at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for him. I'm the devil. If I'm Chris Rock, I'm the devil that's coming for him. I'm coming up out that purple Tom Ford. A Brioni, a, a Caesar Antolina, I don't know who that was. But I'm coming up out of that. I'm coming up out of these clothes, but I don't care nothing about that. Man, you can't do that to somebody, Skip. So now co comedians, can they not say anything, a word about people coming up on stage? That, so don't go, listen, if you're sensitive. Hey, if you was Chris Rock, and you on stage and you say that and Will Smith come up there and slap fire at you. Are you just going to sit there and stay professional? I ain't going to let, I'm going to tell y'all what I think about it in a minute. Just, let's just keep looking. Sensitive, don't you take your ass to no comedy show because these are comedians and they make light of mm -hmm. situations. So if you go down there and you got on some bull jive, they're going to make fun of you. If you look like some bull jive, they're going to make fun of you. Chris Rock should have thought about it. I say the joke, the person that I say the joke about, her husband, so now I already feel tension. I feel confrontation. Right. Or I'm getting off the first one. Because the moment I feel confrontation, I got to, I got to end it. I'm not going to let you walk up on me like that. We argue, Skip, it, it, we going back and forth. You across the room, and here you come walking towards me. Right. What I think, you coming to offer me a drink? What he should have done is what DC Young Fly did last year when somebody came up on the stage and whipped him. He's protecting his <laughs> wife. Well, where was her protection of a man when she was at the red table talking about what she was doing with this entanglement? Where was the, her protection of her husband? He a bigger man than me. Oh, Shannon going crazy. He going crazy like, okay, well, what about the table talk situation? Where, where was the protection then? Shannon going crazy. I ain't that, kind, I ain't that big a man. Ain't a road high enough for me to take. Here's the thing of it. I understand the defending the honor of your wife. I'm that dude. Okay. But you don't have to do something he didn't dishonor her. for that. He didn't do that. That joke was no, not didn't. worthy of, of, of the reaction. If he all right, all right, now I disagree with that. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell somebody like it's like, okay, you do something and then you can't tell them how to react. So Steve Harvey, like, look, man, it wasn't worthy of that. I mean to you it probably wasn't worthy. You know what I'm saying? But you don't know what the fuck Will Smith been going through. You don't know what's going on in his mind. You don't know what he's thinking about. You don't know what the fuck he had earlier today. You don't know if his stomach fucked up, if he constipated. You don't know anything that's going on with Will Smith. You sit up here and tell a joke. I'm gonna give y'all my opinion on it in a minute. Let's just keep listening. Let me slow down. Let me slow down. Was gonna have a reaction. I think that Will should have done the man thing was step to him afterwards. In that press room, and if he wanted to slap Chris in, he could have slapped Chris in the press room and seen how it went. But see, Will okay. But see, he laughed at the joke till he saw Jada's reaction. Right. Now, Will's it. Now, but now, let me tell you something. That's a Hollywood move now to go up there on national TV, slap another black man, turn around your back and walk off because you know he can't do nothing. See, and I know this. Hold on. What you mean? You know he can't do nothing. If that's the case, Chris Rock should have known Will Smith can't do nothing. You can't walk up here and just slap me. In the f How come if you slap me, I can't do nothing back to you? How come Steve Harvey think like, oh, okay, just because I'm on. I Nigga, if you slap me, I'm slapping fire out your bitch ass. Let me, let me sl calm down a little bit. I know he know this because Will been in Hollywood long enough. So now to turn your back 
and walk off. You're going to slap the dude and then turn around and walk off. You know in real life that that ain't the way this going to go. You already but know. You know and, and, no. and, 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 and Rock is a Jersey boy. So, no. So And I didn't think the moment was that. And I think he overreacted like Carla said. He paid too much into the moment. His acceptance speech, that was raggedy, apologizing to the academy. Uh, but, said it was raggedy. But here's what I yeah. think is going to happen. When go this go down and wake up the right way, there's going to be some type of banning from the Oscars of Will Smith. And I think I think recently he just stepped down from some type of board that they had or something. I ain't really too involved. I don't really know the backstory. I just know Chris Rock got the sh shit slapped out of him by Will Smith. And I still haven't told y'all what I think about it. I still haven't told y'all what I think about it. Let's go. Yeah. Because look, they took Kanye off the Grammys. He took mm -hmm. they took him off the Grammys. Yeah. The the Oscars is all Hollywood is about. It's their biggest moment. And for you to do that on the biggest moment, yeah, on they the don't condone violence. They right. don't, the Academy and does a good not point. condone Denzel violence. Denzel told him right. Yeah. In your biggest yeah. moment is when the devil comes for you. Mm. Yeah. You should have handled that. What did you think as you watched it right. unfold okay. and then what happened after? I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless en masse. One thing about Jim Carrey, he's going to keep it 100. And that's what I like about Jim Carrey. He's very outspoken. He don't really give a fuck. He's going to give you exactly how he feel. I don't think it's a lot of people out there in the industry that's as authentic in regards to how they feel and expressing how they feel. I like that. And uh, it just, it really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. There was some question today about if anyone else had walked from the audience and done that, they would have been escorted out by security or maybe even arrested. The police asked, asked Chris if he been. wanted to file charges. They asked Chris, do you want to file charges? And Chris apparently said, no, he did not. He doesn't want the hassle. I, I'd have, I'd have uh, for, announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million because that <laughs> video is going to be there forever. It's $200 be million? You know, that insult is going to last million. a very long time. If you want to yell from the audience and disapprove or sh show a disapproval or say something on Twitter or whatever, you, you know, you do not have the right to, to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. That's no, real. no, I agree. I, I think we all agree on that. I just thought. Just I mean, look, he right about that, right? We don't have the right to go up there and slap fire on somebody. But you know, in certain circumstances where it's like, yeah, I can understand why he did it. He ain't got the right to do it, but I understand why he walked up and slapped the fuck out. Let's go. And that it escalated to that. You know what I mean? That it escalated to that level. It didn't escalate. It came out of nowhere because Will has something going on inside him that's frustrated, and I, I, I wish him the best. I really do. I don't, I don't, you know, mm -hmm. I don't have anything against Will Smith. He's done great mm -hmm. things, but mm. that was have not a good moment. It cast a, a pall over everybody's shining moment last night. You know, a lot of people mm. worked really hard to get to that place and to have their moment in the sun. And to, to get their award for the really hard work they did, and, a, and, a, and it, it is no mean feat to go through all the stuff you have to go through when you're mm. nominated for an Oscar. It's a gauntlet of devotion that you have to do. And, uh, and you know, just it was just a selfish moment to cast a pall over the whole thing. All right, so that was Steve Harvey and Jim Carrey destroy Will Smith for slapping Chris Rock, man. So this is my thoughts on the whole situation, right? Because I haven't really told y'all what I really think about, you know what I'm saying, what's going on with this whole situation. I think it's fake. I think it's all the way fake. I don't think it's real. The fucking slap, who the fuck walks up to somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like, it was like an actor slap. It wasn't even like, it, keep it 100. You gotta keep it 100 though. You gotta keep it, the very first time that you seen that, you tell me that you thought that shit was real. You did not think that shit was real. I think the whole shit was fake. I think it was all scripted. I think, and the reason why I think it was fake, I think the Oscars was trying to get some traction around their ceremony. I, I think last year they had the lowest ratings ever in their history of, uh, you know, the, the Oscars. And so I think they were just trying to create a buzz around it. Now, I don't know if it brought more views, but I definitely know it brought, brought more attention to the Oscars because of what happened. But um, essentially, yeah, you can't just be going around slapping people. I mean, you can, but it's also gonna be consequences behind it. 
Now on the other hand, Chris Rock, I mean, shit. But I think the whole shit fake anyway, so. That's just me though, that's just my personal opinion. I think it's fake. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think, man, about the whole situation. What did y'all think about Steve Harvey, what he said? What did y'all think about Jim Carrey? What did y'all think about what I said? But you already know what you gotta do, man. Leave your comments below, let me know what you thought, man. Also, hit that subscribe button. It's your boy laid back, self-love and positivity. Till next time, Fire Squad, I got you, you know it. Hey.